All right, hey guys. Okay, so hopefully I can get this all recorded right and it doesn't pause or anything. So, um, earlier, about three hours ago or so, I posted this image on Facebook and it was, you know, we had received several inboxes from people who wanted to know how I was able to create this image and how I was able to get the picture to f um, fade out. You know, here's a better um, copy of it. So I just thought I'd do this quick video tutorial really quick and kind of like share with you what it is that I did. And that way you can go out there and like I said, use this for your own branding or, you know, marketing purposes. Um, the program that I use is actually called Pick Monkey. A lot of people also I know use a website called um, Canva.com. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to talk about Pick Monkey. Okay. So, but I just wanted to let you know those are kind of like your options that you can use, right? So. I'm going to share with you in general, like, kind of like how I created this image. Okay, so, so what I did is I kind of like started with um, a four by six is what I did, okay? So, and as you can see, you know what, let me just go back really quick because I just want to go over this really quick because what Facebook, what it, um, PicMonkey does is it allows you to give you different couple couple images these are great show up great on Facebook as well so I normally use like kind of like the square image actually but for this particular picture I did the four by six um, you know you can also do a Facebook cover and you can also customize your sizes okay so all right so I just wanted to share that with you before we um, start it really quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and get straight to the point because I'm one of those ones myself where I kind of like um, straight to the point videos okay All right, so I did that. And then what you want to do is when you click on, you know, there's here you can crop um, images here. But when you click on overlay, overlay allows you to upload your own background images. So click on overlay, which is pretty much just this butterfly over here. And then your own, right? So let me just grab one of my images. I recently did a, a photo shoot. So that's this is where some of my, a lot of my pictures are coming from right now. So let me just grab, you know, something similar to the one that I posted earlier today because I have not released all these images yet. So bear with me really quick. Bear with me. Grab. Yes, I got some exciting things that are coming in 2016. So I'm just going to grab, um, let me see if I can find that one. Here it is. So like, for example, I just grabbed that image and I just, um, there was no reason why I picked this random image besides the fact that it was in focus was one of the things. So I pulled my image to there, right? And that's kind of like about where I want it. And then I faded out the image right here. So here you can kind of like fade out your image, you know, how you want it, you know, kind of, kind of thing. So I'm going to do it there. Okay. So that gives you a different idea. And I know I had someone ask me too, how you can flip the photos. So you can flip your photos that way. Okay. Um, vertical, you know, etc. Okay. So that's my photo. And then you want to go here to combine it. When you combine it, that makes it stay as it is. So that when, you, when you're adding other Ooh. items on top of this, that it is not moving, you know, the image as well so you easily can uh, maneuver so then I did you know text go over here to select your text and you know you just play with it select your text and then hit add text and I'm just gonna do something really simple I mean you know I made a decision if I could spell and you know you can play with the different colors Okay, and you know, you can, you know, m make it brighter, you know, double click it all, and do control A, I'm a Windows girl. I know I got some Mac lovers out there, but for example, there you go, there's a darker color, you know, you can use white. And then, you know, I picked another different size font for the other part, 2016. And then if you click on that as well, this is where you can center your image, guys. And here's the part where you can size it, okay? And you can also, 
you know, you can play with this as well. You know, you know, play around with PicMonkey. It doesn't really save anything until you actually hit combine. Okay, until you combine something. You know, so very simple that. And then I went back kind of like to this image, that font, right? The dummy app text is going to be, I'm just going to do awesome. It's a small word, okay? And control A, pretty much so I can select all of that. And I'm going to center that. And as you can see, like kind of like it's, you know, kind of like there. If I wanted that to be all one word, you know, I mean, all in one line, you could widen that and then, you know, change the font size as well, okay? So you just kind of like, just got to play with it, get it to where you want it, all right? Um, some other things you can do is if you go into, let's see, sometimes I like to use, let me see if I can find it. Um, you know, there's different things in here, guys. You can play. I added a border to mine, too. So there's a border. Um, you can do different borders. I did the simple edge. And as you can see, here's, you know, the thickness of it, how you want it. Um, if I wanted a different color. You know. Okay. Um, I can make that smaller. You can change the inner color as well. You can change that to pink or whatever. And then you can change the thickness of that. So just to give you a general idea, okay? And then you apply that. And I wanted to show you guys really quick if I could find it really fast because I know I you know, get this question too sometimes. Um, give me one second. You can sharpen it and resize it as well, guys. Play around with this. Overlays. Not the stars. Sparkle stars, okay. Because I get this one a lot of times too. You know, sometimes you can add some sparkle to it, so, etc. So then you combine it, right? I'm going to say we're done with this. So then we're going to save it. And I will save it in PNG size. And here, guys, is where if you want, you can change the size of it as well here. So if I wanted to do it, by a 500 and keep the proportions that's pretty much what I did S saved it I'm just gonna save this to my desktop really quick and you know I'm not even going to save this because I don't need to save this but this is just an example for you guys so there you have it that's how you create an image and pick monkey and fade it out very simple and to the point guys I hope this video has added some value to you uh, do me a favor if you use this video and you create an image tag me post your, share with me what it is that you did okay i'm excited for you congratulations on you know taking action as well all right see you on the next video i'm sure i'll do some more of these tutorials